Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 20 of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we basically got our airport rights to land at the three final destinations for, for this mission, being the island of Ceylon, Aden, and Brunei. As in this, well, in the episode, we basically started transporting the needed commodities to their respective destinations. As hopefully in this episode, we'll finally be able to get every single airfield supplied with food, tools, and food for the UFOs to take the mail to and from London. Of course, this is going to take a bit of a while for that to happen. But fortunately, every industry that we have set up has now started producing needed commodities. We got refined oil to be processed into fuel, which is being done right here. Fuel will then be picked up by this train to take it to the aided airfield. This train is patiently picking up loads of food, though I don't understand why there's not much food being taken in as well. I guess it will have to be a little while until that happens. That ship will come back to pick up 200 units of food from the airfield here at, well, airport at Athens, Greece. I guess I can't talk. And let's see. Okay. We also got logs being produced here at the forest near Bombay. We got a ship that's loading up to the full brim with full of logs. The ship is heading off to basically Lumbo port to be turned around, and this ship is heading towards Calcutta port to basically pick up fuel. No, wait, pick up refined oil and then take it to Calcutta to be processed into fuel. So we got tools, food, and fuel being taken to the airfield at Colombo. As for the supplies here for Brunel, we already have tools, but we need fuel and food. Which, thankfully, the food processing plant here and ba at Badidia has now started producing. All it just needs now is the ship to come back to pick up the food. Which is currently making its way there from the port located, well, from this shipyard here. Alright, let's see. Not a full load, but 29, 29 units of fuel is okay. Let's see. I think we can get it up to like 20 or 15 units of food. Actually, 20 units of food will be good for this. But we'll need to produce some tools, which thankfully this train is carrying back with a load of steel. At 154 units, should produce over 154 units of tools. Not to mention, why is the train going to Turan Hall on Platform 1? It should be on a much larger platform. And now, with so many darn vehicles on the screen, it's causing my game to lag even at times 2 speed. Well, times 4 speed. Well, it won't be for too long. Because once these airports are fully active, I believe once the mail has already reached their destinations, we don't need to worry about the mail returning. Well, the planes returning back to London. So we can easily sell basically all the vehicles off once those UFOs land at their respective airfields. Still waiting patiently for more mail to be dropped off. This airfield only has enough mail for line one, though there is some. Though one of these aircraft is waiting to pick up mail for its destination. Hmm. Maybe actually, they could just simply drop off the mail as it is. Though it will have to be put at times one speed because on how badly everything is going right now. Well, lag wise. Well, actually, times two speed is not doing so bad. Alright, so. 
This one will pick up its load of mail and take it to its final destination. That is, it's gonna load up. Yes, it is gonna be loading up with mail, but I don't understand why it's not loading up. Mail is available on line 49. I don't know. Maybe I should just turn it around for a bit. And then let it fly back into the airfield. All the while, we got some mail waiting to be picked up from line 60 at last. Okay. We'll come back in and pick up some more mail. We need to still at least supply these towns that are located on this task with 15 units of mail from London. Train of crude oil is heading to its destination. Food is still being processed, albeit slowly. I don't understand why it's not going to work. It should have a lot of food available. Alright, it's heading off to Aiden. This one is waiting to fill up with more mail. I'm actually going to turn this well around. And then just make it fly back in to pick up the rest of its mail. Hmm. 29 units of fuel. Let's see. Hmm. Still waiting on the shipment of steel. It's thankfully coming in by now. But I think I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in just a moment once most of our airplanes have arrived at their respective destinations, dropping off their loads of mail. Hopefully, I'll be able to get everything set up before you see the far ends 3 out of 4 filled in. So, I'll see you all in just a moment. And we're back! After so darn long, we finally were able to deliver the last needed supplies of mail, and and I actually upgraded my UFOs to the level 3 variant. Now, with tons of mail available for pickup, hopefully these far ends deliveries will basically be completed. As since, each town needs to at least have 15 units of mail. Ah, oh, great. One city is running low on mail. Which one is it? Oh. Aiden needs more mail, but that's already been taken care of already. And now it's back down to one. I don't get it. Oh, well, Aiden's mail supply is going to be restocked pretty soon with these trucks. Since they're carrying over 14 units of mail each. The mail will be taken care of here in... Uh, Colombo on sea loan. Uh, the mail is still fine here in Brunel, but it doesn't show us a 3, though. Port Darwin? Oh, it's only a 12. Well, thankfully, this plane, this UFO is carrying 60 units, so if they can get there before some of the other airports start to lose their hold on the mail, then I think we'd be able to get through this. And the mail is starting to decline again here in Colombo. I need to pick up more mail fast. Guess I'll have to copy in another UFO to deliver that mail. Furthermore, we have been able to basically make up so much money that we were able to pay off our entire loan. Alright. That's 50, 29 units of mail. I'll need to turn this uh, airplane around to go back to uh, Hunslow Heath. 
pick up the mail for line 49, I believe. Yes, line 49. Sorry about that, another technical glitch. But, surprisingly, at the same time it happened, we actually completed the entirety of the mission. Now with that all set and done, let's just sell everything off and get us a nice 1.56 billion credits. Now, basically, since we're done completely with this mission, I'm afraid I'll have to basically put a screenshot on what it is afterwards. But just give me a moment to basically put it up. The so-called Golden Age of Aviation was characterized by a progressive change from the slow wood and fabric biplanes of World War I to fast, streamlined metal model planes, creating a revolution in both commercial and military aviation. In 1919, two Adelaide brothers made history with their world's first flight from England to Australia in a cloth-covered open-cockpit two-engine biplane. Pilot Ross Smith was killed in an airplane crash in England two years after his heroic flight. His brother, Keith, provided valuable service to Australian aviation and became a director of Qantas. The Smith brothers, Vickers, M-E-G-E-A-O-U, is now on display at Adelaide Airport. And with that, we are done with the scenarios of the campaign. I am so happy that we got to get this done. I also want to thank the creators as well as the people who basically subscribed and commented as well as provided fixes and questions about the game. You can basically download this particular mod pack, this campaign mod pack, in the description below to try it out for yourself once you have, if you have Transport Fever 2 on, installed. But other than that, though, let's head back to the main menu, shall we? And that is that. Every single Mankind mission from Era 1, 2, 3, and the mod have fully me. been completed. And we have at least earned one in most of them. So, stay tuned for this Friday to see the epilogue of Transport Fever 2, as well as base me releasing a special poll on what region of the world you will be voting on for my free mode game. So, if you had enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my own state schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the epilogue for the campaign. Bye!